Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to create a piece of artwork um, in response to the artist VB. Um, I'm not as beautiful as Audrey Hepburn, but I've taken a photo of myself. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, create a square piece instead of a rectangular piece. So I'm masking off a section, pressing shift as I do it to get a perfect square and then cropping it down. Okay, um, next I'm going to be taking this and um, turning it black and white. Uh, this makes it easier to um, do the threshold on it in a minute. Um, another thing I do before I apply the threshold, well two things I do. The first is go to adjustments, image adjustments, um, and then change the brightness and contrast. Bring the contrast right up and adjust the brightness just a little bit higher than it usually would be. Okay. Um, and then instead of going straight to image adjustments um, threshold, I'm going to go to posterize instead first. And th that knocks it down to a couple of layers, um, which I find once you do your image adjustments threshold gives just a little bit more clarity, given that I've got no hair kind of need it to be the best it can be the threshold okay so that is my um, portrait sorted um, but now we need to think about that background which in um, VB's case is newspapers generally relating to the um, famous person but I'm not famous so I've just grabbed any number of um, newspaper pages from Google and plop them on. Um, some of them I've turned to 90 degree angles so that they um, look a little bit more like VB's work. Um, I've merged them all together now and I'm going to um, turn them all black and white to make it easier for me to give a little bit of colour. So image adjustments, colour balance and I bring the red up a bit and the blue down um, and I think I adjust the middle, yeah, just a little bit. And that makes everything slightly warm yellow. So it's a little bit more in keeping with Phoebe's work. And next I go back to my portrait and mask off the whole thing. Control C or edit copy. Go back to this one, Control V or edit paste and you'll find your portrait's a new layer, at which point I go to the drop-down menu just above. I like to click through it, just to check I've got the right one, and I'm going with this one. And now it's time to think about adding the butterflies. Um, rather than steal butterfly photos off of the internet, I thought I would draw my own, um, and I photographed it, and I'm just going to crop it down before I get rid of the background. I don't want to make the program work any harder than it has to. So once I've cropped it, I want to get rid of that background. In this instance, I can use the magic wand because the background's one plain colour. Um, and then press delete. And that gets rid of the background. And then if I mask it off again, control C, control V. And there it is. Just shrink it down. If I press shift while I'm shrinking it down, it stays the same shape without stretching or squishing. I'm going to make it a bit smaller, turn it a bit, and plop that one there. Okay, and that's it for the first part of this tutorial. Join me again in part two.